Hey guys, and welcome back to XCOM. When we last left off, we did the first mission of Teleth, and oh my, that was actually fairly smooth. So we've got to the second mission now, and this is where things start getting a little bit more challenging. I'm pretty sure we've got lobster men here. So let's light this place up. I thought the further we went, actually, funny enough, the brighter it got, but maybe I'm misremembering that. I'm not sure. Um, the game definitely does start stepping it up a little bit here, though. Definitely from what I can remember. So we've got a door here. Emma Frost. Let's get her through there. Let's also get Iron Maiden through. So we've got an enemy entry point here. That's okay. Uh, there's no door there. There's a door there. Let's have a look. Okay. So, right. Let's back you up and get you in somewhat of a holding pattern there. Uh, there's no doors here either. Hmm. Interesting. There's no door there, really? No. Okay. Well, that's cool. Quite happy with that. Let's get everybody moving and getting some cover now oh shit. I guess we could get like this team could possibly go through here we're definitely gonna have lobster men I think which I'm not really looking forward to because uh, they're really tough really tough uh, tentacoolants maybe I'm surprised we didn't have any on the last level, to be honest. Right, let's end the turn and see what happens. Now, one thing worth noting is in the final mission, on the final floor, unless it's fixed in this patch or this remake, you can't save. So, what happens on the final floor stays on the final floor you have to commit okay let's leave the tank in there let's get these guys moving down Oof, I don't like it uh, is that a dead end oh I guess that's a dead end, so... The tank can't move. This is not what I want. So I guess... Ah, oh, yeah. Right, so we've got to go through here. Because... No one... I mean, this doesn't go anywhere, does it? No. Ha! Huh. So we've got to funnel all of our men out of one area. This is going to be dangerous. Luckily, they can't really get into us. But we can't really get into them. And we're going to have to try and, like... I don't know whether we're going to go for a full wipe because I don't know how many enemies are on this level. A lot, probably. But we have to save it before this level ends. Otherwise, we will um, not have a save if things go, oh, sorry, when things go tits up on the third mission. We are gonna take our lights as well. Not enough time units, that's fine. Because we're going to want all of those bastards in our pocket. Now, because we're traveling a lot at each time as well, we need to be careful of our energy. Big danger of running out of energy on this map. But that's not too bad. All you have to do is wait a few turns for it to regen. But it's definitely something to keep in mind. There's 
lots happening. I wonder if there's any chance of them coming to us. So it looks like this is the only option we have, and I do not like that one bit. Do not like that one bit. We could potentially blast some places open. But, again, mixed results. I don't like bunching all of our dudes up like this either, but it kind of feels like saving Private Ryan or something when they're all in the landing craft. It only takes one shot from a, a pulse launcher and good night. But hopefully that's not going to happen. Then this is XCOM. Come on. I wouldn't be opposed to meeting some aliens. Start blasting the bastards. But no. Okay. Ooh. Really? Lara. Oh dear. Jill. Kill it, please. Jill. That wasn't what we agreed to do. Alright, we need more guys. Uh, we could potentially. Oh shit. Uh, we've got all the rookies left. This is a risky maneuver, guys, so I'm going to save it. Ada, fire. Everybody hold your fucking breath. Well, I mean... Okay, I can't believe you just missed every single shot there, but... Okay. This is kind of bad now. We've blow... Okay, so the walls are really weak here. Which is actually kind of cool. Shit. Alright, let's funnel more people through. So we've made a mess and we've opened up. We've drawn first blood. They know where we are. So now it's a race against the freaking clock. Uh, this is where taking so many men is actually kind of a pain. But if we can destroy the walls, we can bring our tank with us. Can anybody? Shh, no. 28. Lara. Nope. Nope. Nobody can really shoot that. I'd like to take out that last little chunk of wall. I suppose really we could torpedo that, but Gab's in the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's see those ugly bastard faces. Come out, give us a kiss. Oh, not. Oh, there's more rooms here. But, um, I guess we can go through that stuff. Ah. <sighs> right. Okay. Everybody peel out. There's no way to get around here apart from through those rooms. I can handle I can live with that. I want everybody to reserve for snap. No, we don't want an aim shot, we want Yeah. 
Oh. Okay. Not expect that. Only moving a few at a time. We're going to take this as slow as we need to take it. There's no rush. This is the end of the line. Okay. I like the way they can fly up and over those obstacles. Oh, that... Li okay. Okay. I was not expecting that. We still can't... Nope, still can't go anywhere that way. This map's really interesting. That's the light we left behind. Yep. Okay. Right. Well, uh... I guess we could just pulse blast this. We can't actually. <sighs> Can we not just dest destroy that? don't think we're even firing in the right area to be honest which okay that's kind of annoying we might actually have to surrender our tank I want a few of them to come to us come on this is one thing I hate about Teleth uh, especially this this map this is actually painful going through this piece by piece uh, right Jill is going first. Okay. The only way we can get our tank through, I think. Right, okay. So that, I, I was thinking, how the fuck are they actually going to get up and over there? I guess that makes sense. Uh, apart from the fact that not really. So you can fly up and over obstacles. That's actually really nice. Oh man. I've just got this horrible feeling that any second now the shit is going to hit the total fan. The total fan. They're spreading out because I can hear doors over here, I can hear doors over here, whereas before it was all kind of centralised. Okay. Oof. Jill? Jill, you're a fucking legend. So now we've got to go. Okay, All right, you can stay there, Lara. Oh, sneaky little bastard. I don't know if he was moving around or if he was just sitting there. So this path actually looks fairly linear. I don't know whether, whether it actually is or what is really going on here, to be honest. don't really see the advantage of flying over that thing when we can just run our guys round. I really wish... Right, can you not? No. Alright. Yeah, they're definitely kind of behind us as well. And I know these guys are going to be armed with really nasty weapons. 
But we've killed two aliens now. I mean, that's got to be nearly half of them, right? Anything through here, Lara? No. Apparently not. That's okay. Oh. So we can't actually walk through here. Right. This is so horrible. Every this is like, um... Uh, Space Hulk. Is it Space Hulk where everyone has to move in an orderly queue? This is quite horrible. Never understood that. Seemed a bit silly to me, Space Hulk. But hey, what do I know? Right. That's still not enough. That's enough. Right. Tank is free. Well. Uh, well, not really, I guess. Because it's got to contend with all this bullshit now. But these guys are now free. Come on. Let's get everyone up and over. At least as many as we can. This is not gonna not gonna go well. If we have to move I'm I'm kinda remembering why like I don't like playing this game. Uh it's replaying this game much in comparison to UFO Enemy Unknown, which is the first game. It's just it was way better crafted. This this game is just a mess. They they actually like with recent reviews uh, and interviews with the original stuff, they said they just went out to make it harder. And they they made it harder by slowing the combat down with multiple rooms and hiding aliens and they all the things that really annoy in this game were done on purpose. Which to me is not fantastic game design. But it was a different time in gaming. So I guess we'll forgive them for now. Is it a good game? Yes, it is good. It's very good. It's very fun. But uh, the original is better. I mean, I've got more nostalgia for this game anyway. Because this is the one that I always used to play and rent. Ooh, there's a fucking meaty boy. There's a fucking meaty boy. Oh, God. Ow. Ow. Jill. Kill it. Oof. Iceman, behind. Yeah, we know there's an alien there, Iceman. What was it packing? Right. Okay, first lobster man. Killed. I know we're taking this very slow and steady, guys, but it's better to take it slow and steady than be, you know, dead and lose. It's all about being slow. Systematically exterminating any fucking thing that walks through that door. Yeah, it's kind of coming back to me now, this level. And this level is the most arduous one. The other ones aren't as bad. Um, well, I say that now. I can't really remember. Well, I kind of remember the last level. I, I remember them being brighter, though. So I guess my memory ain't that good. I remember the levels being much brighter. Maybe I'd use some sort of cheat. No, I don't know if there's a cheat to brighten levels, is there? I don't know. I played on the PlayStation. Originally, when I was a kid. Right, we'll move. Oh, I guess we can start stacking these guys up. We we could use our pulse cannons to blow a hole in through the door. Trouble is, you're then opening up lots of areas of attack. Because we can't guarantee that we'll blow that 
bit up there without blowing this up and this up, so... <sighs> to go heavy and aggressive like that is fun, but it's very risky as well. As much as risks are fun, we want to win. It's all about that win. We might have to redo XCOM, actually, the first one. Redo it properly without all the save scamming and all that bullshit that we did before. It's kind of interesting how much easier the first one is than this. Like playing it back, it really is quite eye opening. Okay, I was hoping that we were kind of like most of the way down this way. Uh, we're not. This is very slow progress. But it is progress. And that's what counts. I don't want to keep moving like everybody, every turn. Ooh. Oh no! Lara! Lara's down! Shit! Oof. At least we lost a rookie. Gab, that was... Not useless, actually. Just opened this way up for us. Uh, okay. Tentacoolant. I don't know how many tentacoolants there are going to be on this level. One's too many. Oh, what was that? Right, you guys need to stop fucking around. Like, seriously. Now things get serious. Jill. Yes. Jill, shoot it. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, what can we do? 33. She's 28 to shoot. Good night, Lara. Good night. That was scary. <laughs> I can't believe that. Just fucking came out of nowhere. Claimed Lara. Oh. Oh, do not like. Do not like those things. Do not like. This is why the rookies should be going first, but... Ugh. It's fine. It's totally fine. Alright. Alright, let's get some more men ready. Actually, can we... Options. Uh, player movement speed. Let's move this right the fuck up. How fast is that now? Uh, does that actually change? Yeah, I guess so. Turn the fire speed up a little bit as well. Right. I mean, I guess it's like a little bit faster, but it's nothing to write home about. <sighs> Ten to coolants, man. You can never relax. You can never relax when those things are around. They will ruin your day every time. They ruin every day. Little bastards. Big bastards. Come on. I did ask for it. I did ask for the aliens to come out of the woodwork. And they did. 
and they gave us a little bitch slap. If nothing else, just to remind us that, hey, you know, we are still here, guys. We are a viable threat. And we do have the power to fuck your life up. We needed that. Bit of a knock to our ego. Iceman. We definitely needed that knock. That's two tentacoolants down, even though technically one doesn't count because one was a spawn. One was Lara. Really? Okay. You want to go that way? That's fine. This is like the slowest progress mission ever. But literally anything can happen. Like... Oh dear. Do not like. Yep. Light that fucker up. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. It's dark in here. I don't like it. It's scary. Very scary. But that's okay. XCOM's here. Okay, right, let's give it an end turn. I don't know where the doors are in these but in these rooms either. <sighs> How are we going? Come on, come on, come on. Right, a yeah, eighteen. So if we click It's definitely a very linear path. really don't want Iceman to buy the farm. Not yet. Nobody has permission to die, apart from Lara and the others. Yes. The others whom we've already forgotten. Okay. Do we need, like, more men? Maybe. Are we going to go for a full wipe? I don't know. I like to. But it's just the sheer amount of enemies. It's kind of not practical. Or, well, yeah, the sheer complexity of the maps, I should say. It's just not practical. Come on. Iceman, what do you see? Right, light it up. Faceless. You don't have anything. Ooh. Sneaky bastards. Sneaky. Sneaky bastards. Yes. Oh, shit. That's okay. That's okay. He actually does not have a pulse detonation launcher. He has a stun gun, which is okay. We can deal with a stun gun. We very much can deal with a stun gun. It's the other shit we don't like. But he also has his claws as well. Which ain't brilliant. I mean, where have we managed to get to on the map? Ooh. We, <laughs> we haven't come very far. Actually, I guess we're kind of halfway there. But that's still not great. We, ooh, he put himself under. I don't want him to be put under, though. I want him to die. Uh, I 
guess he must have been squad leader. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is just like a small room with nothing in. Oh no, it's a small room with a freaking door. Uh, back up, John. Sonic, back up, John. All right, the rest of you schmucks get to go down there. Um, uh, I don't like. I don't like that. Jill nearly went under. Nearly. Faceless didn't really take any damage from that at all, any stun damage at all, which I can't really believe. That's quite impressive. Don't know why. going. Come on, baby. Just give me an alien to shoot. Give me another one to put in the cold, hard ground. Nope. Get some light out there, John. Yeah, get some more. Can always pick these puppies back up. Okay. Nothing too interesting. But I guess we'll take it. This leads into the same room. Alright. Well, I mean, we'll take it, I suppose. Gab. Get some light down there. Well, I mean, it will, that will work, I guess. For now. We are... Ooh, taking control, slowly. But that... Let's see what that... Oh God. Gab took that in the face and she's fine. Melt this motherfucker down. Die, motherfucker, die. Die, motherfucker, die. <sighs> Another one toast. Alright, advance, guys. That was some fairly cool cover fire. Not sure why he didn't fire his uh, pulse weapon, but I'm really happy he didn't. Nugs just, like, shit her pants. It's like breathing. And we're on like half an hour again, guys. So I'm actually going to save it here. And carry on. I did not think this map was going to take this long. But we're making progress. We're finally at the bottom of this map now. So from what I can remember, I think we've got to go round and down. And I think the exit's like here. Um, but... Uh, I don't really remember, to be honest. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to keep pushing deeper into Tuleth and uh, taking these sons of bitches out one by one. Seems to be working for now. Till then, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.